Hey, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, I've compiled a list of 21 useful digital marketing tools to help market your website, business, or brand, all while staying productive. So let's get to the video. This video is sponsored by Hostinger. More on them in this video. Before I begin, I've categorized and organized these tools into marketing, creating, and productivity. I'll list down all the tools and resources in the description box below, as well as timestamps to help you navigate through this video. Starting with the first tool, have you ever ran out of content ideas or you needed some inspiration in terms of blog titles or YouTube video titles? Well, check out this tool called Title Generator. It will help you generate 700 headlines with one click. So enter your keywords. I've entered yoga mats, click on get headlines. And in just a matter of seconds, you've got 700 headlines, titles, and content ideas. Scrolling down, let's take a look at some of these examples. What is yoga mats and how does it work? 12 questions answered about yoga mats. These titles aren't perfect and may not be suitable for your content piece, but at least this will give you some inspiration. Next up, do you want to start a website, but you aren't tech savvy and you simply don't know where to begin? Well, that's where Hostinger, this video sponsor, comes in. With Hostinger on their premium shared hosting, you can host up to 100 websites and you get 100 gigabytes of super fast SSD storage, as well as a free domain name when you sign up. I use Hostinger for several of my websites because it's super fast. In fact, it's actually one of the top performing web hosts in the world. In addition, I love the customer support. It's world class. Whenever I have any technical issues, I can send an email. And then within 30 minutes, typically, I get a response. So rest assured, if you do have any technical issues, you can go ahead, contact them, and they're there to happily help you. The backend control panel of your hosting account looks like this. Very user friendly to use. If you need to modify and log into your WordPress account, you can go here, create your emails here, as well as creating new domains or subdomains, as well as installing a new website using their auto installer. One of its standouts is that it's affordable. On its 12 month, that is annual plan, you only paying about $2.40 per month. Now, if you do go on at least a 12 month plan, I do have a discount for you. All you need to do is enter the coupon code Aurelius and then you'll get a further discount. You'll of course save more if you do go on their 48 months plan. Again, use a coupon Aurelius. So for web hosting, do check out Hostinger. It's my personal recommendation. Link to Hostinger in the description box below, as well as that special discount coupon. Next up, have you ever wanted to test between whether design A is better than design B? Well, now you can do it using PicFu. For example, I ran this poll not too long ago. I wanted to decide whether to use option A versus option B. So I ran this test and to my surprise, option B actually got more votes. On top of that, the poll voters actually leave a response. So it's not just you know choosing A or B, but they're actually constructive. They're saying, I like teal to pink fade for the background of choice B. You know, I like the darker tone, makes it more professional. So they actually give you useful feedback that you can take on. A little caveat though, PicView does come at a cost. However, if you do sign up, you get a $50 credit that you can use, which is what I did to run my first poll. So PicFu is great if you want to do some market research and perhaps validate a product idea before you start spending thousands of dollars and spending many hours you know, on a product that may not even sell. Next up, want to write a compelling landing page that's based on a proven framework? Well, there's this book called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. Highly recommend you read this, by the way, but there is a framework, a blueprint that you can download online. It's provided by ClearBrand, again, link in the description box below, but they provide their story brand website blueprint. Simply click on download free PDF, enter your details, download the PDF, and then you'll be given this template. It's in PDF format. You've got the logo, you've got the navigation bar, call to action, headline, sub headline, a call to action again. Some benefits of your service, your brand or your business, then some problems. So as you can see, it's simply fill in the blanks. Rather than starting from scratch, simply download this template, follow it, and then write your copy based on the structure. Another great testing tool is called Headline Analyzer. This is a tool provided by coschedule.com. Simply enter the title or the headline that you'd like to use for, let's say, your article, blog post, YouTube video, or whatnot. Once you've entered it, click on Analyze. I've already clicked on Analyze, but now you can see the headline score as well as the SEO score. 
This will give you an indication as to what things can be improved, optimized, and tweaked. You'll see some suggestions such as increasing the power words, increasing emotional words, uncommon words, and decreasing the common words. Scrolling down, you're given more information and details such as the word count, the character count, and the type of headline this comes under. This is a how-to, and their reading grade. So this headline reads, at an eighth to ninth grade reading level. So by using Headline Analyzer, you can go in there, fine tune your headline. And of course, it's not the be all end all, but at least this is something you can start with to improve on your headlines. Moving on, do you wanna know some suggestions in terms of what people are searching for on places like Google and YouTube? Well, there's a tool called Keyword Tool. I've entered some keywords, so I've got best yoga mats. Let's say I'm targeting that for my latest blog post. I would enter that and then choose a location and then search. And as you can see, we've got the results already. Keyword tool will give you some helpful suggestions such as best yoga mats 2021, best yoga mats for hot yoga, best yoga mats for beginners. So this will give you some ideas in terms of what types of articles or videos to create. If you do upgrade, you will get more data such as the search volume, the trend, the cost per click, and the competition. You can also search specific sites such as YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay, Play Store, Instagram, and Twitter. So with Keyword Tool, you can start with a main or seed keyword and then expand from there, finding those smaller niche keywords or longer tail keywords. Next up, another keyword tool that is useful is called Keywords Everywhere. If you search on Google for whatever keyword you want, let's say best yoga mat again in this example, you will see the results, right? If you look here, you'll see extra details and data of this particular result. So the traffic per month, if I hover over, keywords everywhere is going to give me these results. So the organic traffic per month for this particular and specific URL, which is 26,800 times. What's more, keywords everywhere will provide this sidebar, giving you trend data, SEO difficulty, off-page difficulty, related keywords based on your search term, and also what people also search for, and long tail keywords. This is an extremely useful tool. Whenever I go to Google, I can have that extra information that Google doesn't provide otherwise. All right, let's talk about another useful marketing tool, and that is called Hotjar. Hotjar allows you to visualize user behavior. Basically, it's a heat mapping tool. You can see and visualize what people are actually hovering over, what they're clicking on. And in this demo, you can see the heat mapping. With the heat mapping data that Hotjar provides, you can then go in, on your website and make those optimizations, such as moving a call to action button that may be too far to the left, so then you can move it to the right. Another feature of Hotjar is that you can actually see a user's journey. So once they land on your page, where do they go after that? Do they click on this link or that link? Do they go to this section or that section? And once you find that out, you can move particular sections or links, things like that, so that you can have a high conversion for your website. This next tool will help you shorten long and perhaps ugly links into shorter and brandable links. That tool is called Rebrandly. I've used this for a couple of years already and really satisfied with what it does. Here's how it works. I'm on the back end of my Rebrandly account. Simply click on new link, enter the destination URL. Let's take this long URL for example. This is one of my blog articles. Pretty long, right? What you can do is then cloak it. So choose a branded domain. I've already linked up and used my Aurelius.link domain with my Rebrandly account or you can simply use the default Rebrandly link. Enter a slash tag. In this example, I'm just going to use overcome as the slash tag. Create the link. And now instead of this extremely long link, I've got this short link that's branded. And what you can also do is use a QR code and generate that, save it, so that anyone who actually uses and scans that QR code goes to this link. Want to start your own newsletter and build an email subscriber base? Well, I recommend using a tool called ConvertKit. ConvertKit allows you to create landing pages, email signup forms, integrate with many other apps, do email marketing, of course, run some automations or create some automation funnels, as well as sending out broadcast messages. The standout of ConvertKit is that you can sign up for free build up to a thousand subscribers until you need to actually upgrade. They've got an easy to use landing page builder. So simply choose a template that you like, let's say this one here, and then start editing the landing page, such as the images right here, 
changing the headline, the call to action, and also the fields of the opt-in form. Once you're done, you've got a landing page ready to collect email subscribers. Next up, wanna get alerts of any mentions of your brand or business? Well, there's a tool called Mention. You may be thinking, is this the same as Google Alerts? Well, it's not because it can track and monitor over 1 billion sources across the web from press releases, review sites, forums, and blogs. The backend of Mention looks like this, kind of looks like an email inbox. I've added a new alert for anyone that mentions Aurelius Chen or my brand name. And you can see it found this one right here, which was a reply to a recent tweet of mine. By using Mention, you can consolidate all these alerts of brand mentions and things like that in one location. All right, onto some tools for creating. The first tool I wanna to mention is called Kamua. It will let you resize your videos into other formats for different social media platforms. Here's how Kamua works. It not only resizes your video, but it actually focuses in on that subject so that it only crops that area. The back end looks like this. By going to crop settings, you can select portrait or square. Now, if you have a lot of movement and you wanna make sure you crop only the subject, then you wanna enable auto crop. What you do then is set the focal point. So set it, choose the actual area that you wanna focus on, save the focal point. And once you're done, click on draft render, preview it, see if you like it. And if you are happy with it, click on download. What I can do now is upload it as a YouTube Shorts, a TikTok video, or even an Instagram Reel. Next up, wanna present and record at the same time and have that little bubble or circle face cam at the corner of the screen. Well, check out Loom. It'll allow you to do that, as you can see in this demonstration. We've got her on the corner and you can do things like annotate, you can sign up for free, but you can create up to five minutes per video. Let's move on to some graphic tools. The first is called InPaint. Have you ever wanted to remove particular objects on a photo? Well, that's what InPaint is for. It's free to use. You don't need to install anything. Here's how it works. Get your photo ready, drag and drop it. Now you're in the graphic editor. Let's say you wanna erase and remove this umbrella with the two people here. So I'll zoom in so that you can see closer. To start erasing, you wanna use the markup tool. You can also use the lasso tool or the polygonal lasso tool too. I'll stick to the marker tool. And now you simply mark it, highlight it. Once you're done highlighting, click on erase and you'll see the magic happen. Just like that, it's disappeared and no longer exists. Let's zoom out so you can see what it looks like now. So there you go, really easy to use. You can remove any object from any photo of yours. Next up, do you want high quality icons that you can use on your website or even YouTube thumbnails, kind of like what I do? Well, check out flat icon. Simply enter a search term. Let's say I wanna look for laptop icons. I've searched it, browse through the icons. I love flat icons so much that I've upgraded to a paid plan. If you find an icon that you like, simply click it and then you're given some options in terms of the sizes that you wanna save it as. Now, another great icon website is called Lord Icon. Here's what it looks like. What's different about this is that you're given animated icons. And in addition to that, you can actually customize the colors. So let's say you choose this book icon. If you look here, you've got colors. You can select the color that you want. Let's say red, click on apply. Now you've got a red book. So if your brand colors are red, then you can match it with that. You can also adjust the stroke. So the thickness of the lines, as you can see, there's hundreds of icons to choose from. So there's bound to be something to fit your needs. All right, next up, do you wanna remove the background from an image or photo? Well, remove.bg is the tool that can do that. Simply have your photo ready. I'm just going to use this one of myself here. And in just a matter of seconds, you'll see that the background will be removed. And there you have it. And from here, simply download it. If you do want a high quality version, you will need to pay for it. You can sign up for a subscription plan or pay as you go. Now, speaking of these graphic and creation tools, I've got to mention a tool that you most likely have heard of, and that is Canva. I've got several tutorials around Canva, so do look in the description box below for those videos. But very briefly, Canva will help you create your ebook covers. You've also got invitations, business card templates, infographic templates, and so much more. Now let's talk about a couple of productivity tools that's not so common and ones that aren't typical. The first tool is called TaskAid. If you want to organize your to-dos, your workspaces, your projects, this is a really simple to use app. Think of TaskAid as a to-do app, but on steroids, because what you can do is add things like due date, assign, comment, upload a file, embed it, or add a timer to this specific task. What's more, you can view your project in different layouts, such as board view, if you like that visual, 
kind of view or the Kanban view. You've also got action view, a mind map view like this, and an organization chart view like this. Taskgate is free for the most part. However, I do have a coupon so you can upgrade to the unlimited plan. So you can use all their features, no restrictions. Here's how to do it under billing. Simply go and click on one of your workspaces and then click on upgrade. Where it says add promo code, add the coupon code Aurelius. And before I apply it, you can see that what's due in 14 days is $60 per year. So once you apply it, that fee will be waived. So it's all free for life. So go sign up for Taskade to organize all your notes, projects, and to-dos. For this next tool, if you write any piece of content, whether that be articles, you know, Instagram captions or anything, this next tool may be handy. It's called Hemingway. It is similar to Grammarly. However, it's not as advanced. If you go to HemingwayApp.com, you can start writing, right? This is the actual writing editor. If you do want to write without any distractions, click on write. And now you won't get any of those highlights, but I'll explain more what those highlights mean. But once you are done writing, click on edit, and then you can see the readability, the grade. So it's grade six, which is good. Words, and you'll see two adverbs, one use of passive voice. In a nutshell, the highlights are generated by Hemingway. The yellow highlight indicates that it's quite wordy, so you could shorten this. Anything that's highlighted in red is quite dense and hard to read. Any purple highlights mean that you're using complicated or technical words. Adverbs are highlighted in blue, while green mean that this is worded in passive voice. The Hemingway app also includes a desktop version if you want to pay that one-time fee. So it's available for Mac OS or Windows systems. All right, this final tool is especially for YouTube creators. A popular YouTube creator named Matt Devella, who talks about minimalism and productivity, created a plugin for Chrome. It's called Goodbye Metrics. So what it does is it will basically <laughs> eliminate the metrics, the analytics, the numbers, you know, how many likes on a particular video. Now you might be thinking, what's the whole point of not seeing all your metrics? Well, this is one of the traps that creators fall into. They fall into this comparison syndrome where they're comparing their latest video or the videos that they create amongst the sea of other creators that have posted their videos. And what this can lead to is a lack of motivation, you know, all that hard work and those hours that one is putting into creating a video and not seeing the results that they anticipate. Wherever you are on YouTube, let's take Matt DeVilla's channel for example, you'll see the number of subscribers he's got and of course the number of views. By using Goodbye Metrics, if I click here, you'll see that I can enable the extension and now all those views or the view count is gone and also the subscriber count. This is typically what YouTube Studio will show you, the latest video performance, channel analytics, the latest comments and other data. You can also disable all these by clicking on the Goodbye Metrics extension and then enabling it. If you don't want to hide all of the metrics, you can individually enable those metrics that you do want. So let's say under YouTube Studio dashboard, it says hide channel analytics block you can enable that. And now you can see the channel analytics block right here. So by using Goodbye Metrics, you can focus more on creating rather than following the algorithm and feeding what YouTube wants. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found any of these tools helpful, do let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and comment below which of those tools or services you liked and will be downloading next. In the meantime, do stick around to watch this video right here where I share 11 Google Chrome extensions that you'll absolutely love. So I'll see you in that next video.